right guys, welcome back to the channel. This is my second video, uh, 2021 ammo score. Uh, I have a correction from the first video. I said that I got my, uh, the upper sent to the FFL, actually with the lower. Apologies for that. I put that in the comments as well. Lower sent to the FFL for the background check. Okay, moving on. This is my ammo score so far from uh, 2021. Uh, generally, academy sports, we go to two different academy sports, one near me and one probably about five, six miles further out. Um, so let's get into it. <clears throat> okay, I have a, uh, the 556 five, here, 55 grain, one box of that, one brick, bulk pack, 20 rounds. Uh, this one was 119 at Academy Sports. So this is probably my, my top range of what I'm planning on paying. We're talking about 60 rounds, 60 cents per round. <clears throat> and then um, I picked up this and the 100 round box of 12 gauge, uh, two and a half inch shell, two and three quarter inch shell, excuse me. Um, I believe this was like maybe 29 bucks, um, I believe. Okay, that was on a couple weeks ago. Picked these up here, these two. And then a week later, I picked up the steel cased, the Monarchs here. Uh, have not shot these. I'm uh, familiar with the Wolf and the Winchester steel, but not the uh, Monarch steel. So I picked up two 100 round boxes of cases. Uh, well, actually, these are 200 round, I believe. 200 round boxes for $49 each. So that's 400 rounds for 100 bucks. 25 cent a round. I'll take that for nine millimeter um, at these market prices today. Okay. Then I picked up a hundred round box of the 762 by 39. This was 29 cent, uh, 29 bucks, 29 cent per round. I'll take that as well. Um, do I do I do like 17 cent a round versus 29 cent a round? But it is what it is, and trying to get ammo is difficult. <laughs> Um, I know when I first started buying AK rounds, I bought not a not a brick, but a block, a thousand round wolf, uh, 122, 123 grain, um, I believe from Classic Firearms for 249 with shipping, you know, throw, the, throw those charges in there, but that was basically 29 cent a round for a thousand. Now you, um, it's hard to even get those bulk packs in. Okay, and then moving on, I picked up Monday from Academy Sports. I woke up early, uh, got there at 8.30. I was uh, number 30 in line, and by the time it opened up at 9 o'clock, it was 30 more people behind me. So I'll let you know what's, what's going on. So um, didn't plan on spending as much as I spent, but... Um, they necessarily, I wanted the 40 cal Smith & Wesson. They didn't have any, so I just went on and bought two more bulk packs of the green tips here. 62 grain, uh, uh, two, uh, 200 round bulk packs, uh, 129 each. So I'll probably spend with taxes, 285. They really, they only really plan on spending about 50 bucks, so. And that's the top end of what I'm planning on paying for these green tips here. Uh, that's it. Probably got about 1,200 rounds of green tips uh, now, and probably I got three, four, five thousand rounds of two, two, uh, the regular 55 grain. So I'm good on five, five, six. Probably got about four or five thousand rounds of the the AK 762 by 39. So I'm good on that. Pretty much good on everything, nine millimeters. So I'm only going. Uh, ammo shopping for 40 cal. If I can't find 40 cal, I'm not going to purchase anything. And also, these are my magazines I have. I got to get more AK mags. So all I got, I thought I had more than this. I got the one Croatian one, and I got two mag pulls right here with the steel case. This is Wolf in here. Wolf, these are hollow boys right here. Hollow boys on the Wolf right here. So yeah, I thought I had more than that. I got to order some more. But of course, on my 
five, five, six. I got these and I got some more in my range bag right here. You see them green tips, if you can see. Got them green tips, got them boys right there. Won't be no problems. And I got the 55, uh, 55 grain in the other one. But these, these mags I got from Classic Firearms. Made in America. Support your American made manufacturers. It's all good. Uh, I do I do get some farm boys, but uh, I like them. That's classic firearms right there. Good deal. So that is what I purchased in the last few weeks um, from Academy Sports. The price of them got too outrageous. Though so I did go Wednesday to Academy just to see what they had. They had some more uh, monarchs in there. Uh, I bought two more. Uh, they probably probably in the car. Um, small twenty round packs cost way too much, but I bought them anyway. They were nine ninety nine for a twenty round. It's fifty cent a round. That's it. No more buying like that. So that's what I'm saying. I'm chilling out and we'll go to the range here soon. Um, so this is that's my 2020, 2021 ammo score so far this year, and um, and I found this here. This is I had in my closet. I got so much stuff. This is my, uh, I even forgot I had these right here. I ordered these sometime. Freedom Munition. These are two, two, three rounds here. And I got some old wolf in there. I forgot I had that. And I had planned on going to the range. Didn't make it in. This is from 2021. That's 200 rounds of uh, two, two, three. And it was probably like 300 rounds of the, uh, the wolf. So... We get so much stuff, you know, you buy it and then you forget you have it in there so you don't go to the range and shoot as much as you normally would shoot. So that is the 2021 ammo score. I woke up early on Monday, went Wednesday, struck out uh, on what I really wanted was 40 cal. At Academy, they have ammunition. I always, but I strike out at Sports and Warehouse when I try to get something from there. They, uh, I'm not sure when they truck them. A guy at Academy said, uh, a customer, he said that he got some Saturday. They truck come in on Tuesday and Saturday, but I went Thursday. No, I saw everybody. I saw older gentleman walking out. When I, when I see him walking out, I know there's no ammo. Okay. Now I have a surprise for you guys. I know I said I was gonna get that waiting on getting that bull pup, but I changed my mind and I saw this particular setup here. Da 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 da. Bam. Another Caddick. Got all the bells and whistle cleaning, cleaning tools and everything. This is gonna be my concealed carry spring and summer edition. This is the Caddick TP9. Let's see, make sure I get the name right. Caddick TP9 SC Elite Tungsten right there. We clear everything out, make sure for the safety police. No magazine, that's a 12 rounder right there. No magazine in, nothing in the chamber right there. Got to get used to locking it back. Let me lock it back. There we go. For the safety police, nothing is in there. All right. This holds 12 plus one on one magazine and the other one has 15 plus one. So you know I'm about to get that 15. I'm about to pass it, but I need some concealment because the 40 is a little bit too bulky. Got the winter clothes on. It comes with case, I mean a holster. Got the case, you got the cleaning equipment, all of that. I don't know, the other one I bought was more of a stripped down version, it's full size. You got all your, you got all your bells and whistles, your locks and all that. <clears throat> cleaning brushes. But yeah, I'm interested to see what, what we do with this. It got those night sights right there. If you can see it in the camera, those green, got them that front sight. Yes, sir. I'm interested. Woo! Don't get down right there. So yeah, they said this is tungsten. But yeah, we're gonna see, we're gonna see what it do. Yeah. That's that 15 round with that pinky right there, that pinky extension. Yeah. We're gonna see. 
Oh, yeah, this is, I'm gonna let y'all know, this is my newest acquisition right there. So yeah, that's where the money is being spent. Now, um, definitely gonna slow down, but I'm gonna get some range days in, and uh, hopefully I can show you all, sneak some range video in. May hit the armory, or they have an outdoor range near me. But definitely, the rent, really, the shooting needs to happen out in the country. So, whenever I get to Alabama, definitely gonna show y'all some more tactical type drills versus just sitting on a, a stool or, you know, 25 yards on the indoor range. But yeah, this is, I'm trying to remember to have anything else I want to tell you all. I appreciate the views on uh, the first video. I'm like up to like 2,600 views. So yeah. And uh, also, I, I follow a, a good amount of people. Uh, Jay the Shooter, Locks and Loaded. Uh, I think uh, Hankerson. Oh, he's a good dude. Uh, and who else? I'm trying to think. Regular gun guy. I think he out of Chicago, Illinois. Funny guy, funny guy. Definitely uh, check out their channels. But yeah, this is my 2021 ammo score. So we don't forget, we got the Winchester's for 119, one brick of that, the Winchester green tips. Uh, that was 129 each. And then we have the 12 gauge, we have 29 bucks or something. It wasn't much at all. 100 round box, and then we got the 200 rounds of the nine millimeter Luger, uh, the steel case, Monarchs for 49 each. And then we have the 762 by 39, 100 round box for 29.99. So that is the price. I like, I like to let you all know what I, what I spend on, but I do everything on the budget. And I try to buy uh, bulk. I don't like buying 20 round packs at all. I don't like buying, if it's not 50, 100 rounds, I don't like to buy them. Sometimes you have to. All right. This is Eric, Black Superhero. We signing out. Thank you all for uh, tuning in to the channel. Like, subscribe. I appreciate it all. Thank you.